Hello class, welcome to week 12. Sorry, my <laughs> my house is a mess. Everything in my life is a little bit of a mess right now. Not too much, just uh, I have to be moved out by next Saturday. So this is the last um, announcement I do in this uh, apartment. And um, I'm still fighting this cough and working my other job. And I'm a little bit over it, so stuff. Why do we accumulate so much stuff in our life, right? Um, okay, so uh, I really think that you're going to enjoy uh, this week quite a bit. Um, we covered the Renaissance, which is important, and this amazing documentary on Machiavelli and uh, the book called The Prince and its influence on political thinkers within the world, but in particular the West, that the BBC put out. And it's such an eye-opener, and uh, most of my students get pretty excited about it. Um, I do a combination of basically, you know, having you guys uh, watch um, some other videos as well as, as lectures of mine. So, um, I don't have much to say, I think, else uh, about this week, other than we have a lot to cover, there's a lot to watch, but I think that you will um, enjoy this portion uh, um, in particular. Um, and let's see, anything else to say? Gosh, I think we just, you know, here we are, we're, we're in week 12 and we're getting kind of over that hump. We're, move, we're, we're, we're getting closer and closer to finishing up and, um, you know, we're learning a lot. Um, there's been a lot on the news that Sometimes I want to address, and other times I just think, oh, I don't know. Um, you know, we had uh, a young man, a young white man, who was sending bombs in Texas and then blew himself up, and um, many think it's racially motivated. I don't know if they quite yet pinpoint why. Then we had a terrorist uh, claiming uh, allegiance to ISIL in France. And you know, we, 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 we just kind of talked about last week, you know, uh, communal violence, things that happened back in the Middle Ages. And, um, you know, I just always want to remind us that unfortunately these kind of situations have never really left. Me, to, to be more precise, um, there seems to always be a particular group or individuals who um, are finding that they feel that, that violence within society is the answer to their political or social problems or their personal problems sometimes at times. And, um, you know, I, I always like to remind everybody that it's not a particular race or ideology or religion that um, has a proclivity to this compared to other ones. And, um, you know, if you look at the Cold War years in the West, my, if you take my later class, you'd see that there was a lot of uh, societal violence in response to so many conflicts that were taking place in the world. Um, the Algerian uh, revolution of, of the Algerians trying to kick the French out of occupying their lands and how that spread into France itself as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you had young Germans... Um, that felt that denazification in the Western Germany didn't take place properly enough, and they were actually targeting old Nazis and committing violence. Um, some of these like left-wing uh, Marxist groups. Uh, Northern Ireland has been a, a point of contention in that. So I always like to put it in perspective. So that we and, and here's the the thing. Now, I'm not saying this actually to focus on negative things, but to remind us that when we look at a particular group and we, we get fear as if this is the only problem. No, no, this, this is a just, it's just a general problem. We don't have to be afraid of our neighbor's identity, what they identify with in terms of their social, like I said, like group, but just realize that unfortunately the uh, violent and discontent and people that have these kind of views in different forms will always be with us and the majority of us will not have to deal with them but sometimes we do just like 
people get in car wrecks a lot. Probably the most dangerous thing you'll ever do in your life is drive a car, and yet here we are, right? So, whatever. Done with the pulpit. Have a good week. Contact me if you need anything, and um, may we all be well.